Hello friends, this is Dr. Antonin Jungeko, your coach in data analysis using R2. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform density analysis in social network analysis. This, uh, this analysis is helpful as it allows you to understand how connected is your network. Remember in the first video, I showed you how you can create a data set for your social network analysis. In the second video, I showed you how you can present hubs, authorities, and community analysis. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform density analysis. And as I said, density analysis allows to, to see how connected is your network. And it can provide you much information uh, related to how your, the, your network is connected. The first comment you see here is to indicate where I saved my data sets on which I'm going to make this presentation later on this comment. This comment you see here is just to import my data sets. Let's run this comment. Remember, if you followed my videos, you, you remember that I'm working on course analysis. Course. Now you can see how our numbers called each other. This is the data set I'm working on. And the, this is for making a presentation, but you can just have many numbers you can have names this number for instance called this one this one called this one this number called this one and so on and so forth now to perform that analysis i need to create a directed network and then I will show you how you can calculate manually or automatically density of your low social network. Remember, density is the proportion of actually connected ties over all possible connections. When you are interpreting the result, dense networks are highly connected networks where information, disease or resources can quickly move across the network. This is the formula, density number of ages divided by number of possible ages. It's the same for the first, the, 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 this, this definition. And the result must be between zero and one. When you are near zero, that means a less densely connected network. But when you, you, you are near one, you, that means your low network is highly connected. Now, let's create a directed graphs or network because remember there is what we call directed graphs and undirected graphs. In directed graphs, the direction of connection is short, but in undirected graph, the direction of connection is not indicated. Now, let's run this comment to show undirected graph or network now the, I, if I want to calculate density automatically I can, I can use this command age density and I use the result of my social network let's run this comment you will see the results let can here this is the first command you can use when you want to, to calculate the density of your network how your net connected is your network you can also use graph density and you indicate when you save your graph and you indicate also loop egal loop equals false loop loop equal false now you can see we have the same result but If you don't have RTDO off or if you do not have any software, how can you calculate density of your network? Now, first of all, this command, for instance, allows me to calculate the actual connection. Yeah, but you can count the actual, the actual connection by counting ages. And this, you can use also this command to, to calculate the number of connections, actual connections. You can also calculate the number of nodes or number uh, the number of individuals which are in your row 
um, in the, with the number of persons which are uh, in your network you can also know it okay now you can calculate this by using this comment count the counts now as you can see the formula is that when you want to calculate the number of possible connection you take the number of nodes you multiply by the number of nodes minus one and you divide by two now when we apply our formula the number of nodes is this one when we apply the formula the possible node here possible nodes here is 23 multiplied by 23 minus 1 which is 22 divided by 2 let's see the results possible number of connections is this one you see here friends now i'm going to to consider actual actual connections is this one divided by this one and we must found the same result density is this one actual connection divided by possible connections let's run this comment and you can see here from the results let's clean all and you will see later on this one when i want to calculate without using the form the comments and let's show you and we will see we have the same result let's run this the first comment this one sometimes it's better to know how you can result are calculated so as to be able to check if you want to check okay friends now as you can see here our network uh, is connected at 25 percent okay friends this is the end of our presentation because I, the intention of this mm, presentation was to show you how you can calculate the density of your network and the higher the better thank you for watching this video for next video bye